Some of my first and most memorable creative projects included nothing more than what I could find outside. And today's show will inspire you to do the same. I'm gonna share with you some of the easiest ways for you to press and dry your lovely blooms and foliage. My friend and backyard conservationist, Sheila O'Reilly joins us and she shares some fun ways to recycle old sinks. We'll also show you how to take discarded scraps of lumber and give old cupboard doors and drawers a fresh rustic facelift. And then we'll go a little nuts and show you how easy it is to create a family of rustic residents to take care of the place. Fun projects to help you enjoy your outdoor spaces even more while at the same time, you'll learn how to put some of those trashy tossaways to good use. So come and save my planet. Come and save my planet from me. Come and save No matter what you call it or how you say it, the topic is hot, the interest is there, and there's a real need for intrusive messages that share the facts and offer simple, doable ways that we can all make a difference and play a part when it comes to conserving our resources, cutting down on waste, really appreciating and protecting what we have. Furnishing your treehouse can be just as much fun as building it. And since we did such a great job using salvaged wood and scraps to build the miniature treehouse, it only makes sense that we furnish it in the same fashion. And we're gonna start by showing you some cool things you can do with branches. And a branch is not just a branch. For instance, if you have something that is traditionally meant to be in the bedroom, use it in the kitchen. A jewelry chest makes a great spice chest. I'm somebody who doesn't toss much out and I'm also a big believer in working with what you have. It's a fun challenge and you you always come up with something unique. So we're just gonna drill our holes. And you can drill whatever size holes you want in your lid. If you're gonna be putting things in here that have larger stems, you're gonna want larger holes. Now is it important to have a certain sized hole in here? This is like about a quarter of an inch to half an inch thick. And you can see I'm rolling on, this is a wooden cutting board that's covered with a piece of muslin. I've used that as my backing, but I really like these soft old sheets. You want something that's fairly thin so that the scarf wraps and lays nicely. You don't want it to be too bulky. And we're gonna line this up and then pin it into place as we go. You can also use the lids off of old cigar boxes. They're nice and sturdy. You just want them to be cut to the same size. The kids can have some fun embellishing them and decorating them, really making them their own. Another option for these newspaper logs is a decorative element. What you can do is once you have your log wrapped, you can coat it with some shellac. It really finishes it off nicely and it'll lock in if there's any chipped paint and so forth. And as you saw, these solutions are very easy to mix up. They're safe to you, to your kids and pets, to the environment. Try them all, see which ones work best for you. Experiment with the different types of plant material that you're working with. You just wanna be sure that wherever you install it, the kids have easy access to it. And now all that's left is to get in there and furnish it. Don't be intimidated by old lighting with old wiring because you can very easily rewire it yourself. But as you can see, nature can play a big part in all of your designs. When people hear the word organic, they typically think of the food that they're buying, a type of farming, but it's much bigger and broader than that. It's a lifestyle. And whether you're doing it up in a small way by taking reusable shopping bags to the market or doing it up big by installing rain gardens and rain barrels, it all makes a difference. There's so much more to learn. Do it at your leisure. Visit us at beorganic.net.